Thanks for joining us on our trip to Southeast Asia. We'll be visiting Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, and Cambodia. The subtitle for this trip is our search, or my search, for the perfect Pad Thai. Our trip begins in Bangkok with a visit to the Grand Palace. Sadly, the Thai king who served his country for over 70 years had recently passed away. The Thai people were in the process of a year-long period of mourning, paying respects to their late monarch. This meant that the Grand Palace itself was extremely crowded. The palace grounds are made up of the royal residence and a series of temples, including the Jade Buddha and here the Reclining Buddha. Birds are offered for sale. The idea is to set them free and at the same time set your spirit free. Thai monarchs had also enjoyed the beauty of a summer palace. We discovered that Thailand is also a place of both ancient and modern Buddhist temples. As we traveled north, we found that there were a lot of interesting places to stop along the roadside and pick up a snack if one got hungry. Well, maybe not this. Yeah. You can tell for everybody how do you feel. Because for myself. <laughs> well, this was one time when being a vegetarian was a real advantage. Besides, the bananas and banana chips were delicious. Next stop, a quick visit to Myanmar, previously known as Burma. A short tuk-tuk caravan took us to the center of town. And buy it from him. That is the pigtails. Okay. Marcus in Myanmar gave new meaning to the term farmer's market. Tons of vegetables, fish, and of course meats. Random motorcyclists sometimes drove through the market along with the crowd. Need a taxi or a tuk-tuk? Proper etiquette requires that you always take your shoes off before entering a temple. Our afternoon in Myanmar ended and we crossed the border back to Thailand. The hill tribes of northern Thailand had once lived in Burma. Today they make a living by farming and doing handicrafts such as weaving. Women whose necks have been extended were born on a special day at a special time, a Wednesday night during a full moon. Once their necks have been extended, the jewelry can no longer be removed. We interrupt this program for breaking news. 
Okay, 50 baht converts to a dollar and a half. Pot Thai, fresh off the walk. That's good for us. <laughs> Are you going to go in the water and help him take a bath? Well, was that fun? It was fun. It's a big elephant. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Here he is. He did Tour guide Rani paid respects to her mother at her final resting place at the temple above Chiang Mai. A Buddhist monk's blessing for safe travels and a friendship string ended our stay in Chiang Mai. The Laotian welcoming ceremony involves kind words, tying string on the guests' wrists, and lots of wonderful food. Buddhist monks rely on the generosity of others. The Mekong River is one of the world's great rivers running the entire length of Southeast Asia. Thousands of Buddhist statues have been added to the cave over the centuries. So for the first time, I pay respect to the Buddha. The welcoming string was given as an offering to the Buddha. Lots of puzzle pieces left to put together. Angkor Wat is a temple complex and the largest religious monument in the world, built in the 12th century. Sandstone blocks were literally sanded together to make a Push down harder. How did they make the hole with the wood in there? Very nice. That's your best friend now. <laughs> 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 
friendly locals? Mm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Ox cart rides again keep traditional skills alive in Cambodia. Couldn't pass up an outdoor barber shop for a quick trim. For joining us once again. Okay, here we are in Cambodia. We're going to be going home in two days, so we'll be ready for the California rain. This is the uh, afternoon rainstorm. First rain we've seen in uh, two weeks. <laughs>